Okay, so today we have Mohit with us, who is the director of uh, Nati Affairs, one of the directors. So welcome Mohit to uh, Road to Roll by Karya Naksha. Uh, okay, would you like to tell us about Nati Affairs, what it is and what do you do? Yeah, sure. Um, first of all, hi Shivani, and it's uh, great to be on this interview. So uh, about Nati Affair, it's a story in itself because we started from scratch before two years now and uh, we just had one vision of opening a store which serves only and only quality products so it was always our uh, wish to you know have uh, bridge the gap between the quality demand and quality supply because there are a lot of people over here at, at least in Vadodara who are looking for quality products but they are not getting it so they have to compromise in the quality or they have to go outside, maybe, you know, ask their relatives to get it. Or maybe when they are traveling, they get the products from outside. So we always had this, uh, you know, in our mind that we will sometime uh, come up with something which is bri bridging this gap. Mm -hmm. So two years back, uh, we came up with this entire concept of Nutty Affair. It is mainly into dry fruits. It is mainly into dry fruits and uh, we serve the best quality products in the market right now. Uh, Nutty Affair is also planning to open multiple stores across India and uh, it uh, has got its own e-commerce website definitely which is going which is growing day by day. We are serving uh, we are delivering products uh, in Kerala, Mumbai, Bangalore and uh, whoever once visited our stores are, you know, uh, have got to know that what our products are. So when they go back to the native, they definitely order online. And there is one more dimension to Nutty Affair, which is supply chain. So we are also supplying our products across India. Uh, we are coming up with new 10 products, which will be, you know, uh, supplied to all the supermarkets in the modern trade. So that is what Nutty Affair is about. Okay, okay, that's great. So, uh, would you like to tell us how this idea came to you and how has this journey been uh, for Nati Affairs? How did it start? So, uh, like I told you, so basically, uh, I'll just uh, introduce you to, uh, to the board of, uh, board of people we are. So, we are four of us, we are four brothers, and uh, total we are five directors, and uh, we all have been striving to, you know, uh, like I told you, bridge the gap between quality demand and quality supply. So the entire concept started there when we, we personally were not buying products from here. We were, you know, uh, asking our relatives maybe to get it from outside and stuff like that. So it, you can say that one fine day we just gathered our, uh, you know, guts and uh, got into the market. We just uh, took a place on rent and we started our store. So that's how it began. And uh, once it began, it's a roller coaster ride where we are just, you know, developing day by day. Every day, it's a new experience. It's a new challenge that we face. But uh, we definitely tackle it in a right way, in an ethical way. And that's how we have been growing uh, since we started. Okay, okay great, great. So as you said that uh, every day, you must have been having challenges. So would you like to tell us any of this challenge uh, that you may have faced and how, how did you face it and dealt with it? Would you like to share? Uh, definitely. See, this is food industry. And when it comes to food industry, there are a lot of challenges. You have to be 100% involved all the time so that there is a 100% customer satisfaction that you're trying to provide, right? So uh, challenges are a lot, definitely. And we came up with, we started with nothing. So today, uh, wherever we stand is definitely only and only because of our involvement in every step. May it be customer handling, may it be customer experience, may it be after selling the product, how we are taking the feedback, we are working on it. So there are a lot of challenges, definitely. Uh, and especially, uh, you know, people over here are not very aware about the use of dry fruit. Maybe you, when you go towards the north or, you know, towards Delhi and uh, colder areas, people are using dry fruits on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. But when it comes to uh, Vadodara region or Gujarat region, people are not very much well aware about. So 
uh, almond is the maximum dry fruit that people think you know so we have got products like pecan nuts pine nuts hazelnuts macadamia nuts there are n number of varieties when it comes to cashew nuts pistachios and the kind of quality that we have in walnuts is remarkable mm -hmm. so uh, we are facing challenge in you know making people aware about it as well we are trying the uh, every single day how much ever customer walks into the store we make sure that they are going out with an awareness you know so they should uh, get to know what they are consuming uh, a lot of people are not concerned about that you know uh, so jaise ki uh, one customer walks in and they say that almonds are almonds you sell it maybe a roadside vendor is selling it so what's the difference we make sure that they get the complete knowledge about types of almonds the freshness of almonds when it is you know procured how old is it how new is it so in that way uh, there are a lot of things like when we come to cashews people just compare the cashews but they don't know where they are sourced from how nutritional this cashews are and how uh, you know good this cashews are so we just make them completely aware about the products so spreading awareness is the major challenge that we face and after that uh, definitely it's like i told you it's a food industry there can be a lot of issues and there can be a lot of problems but we tackle it in an ethical way and we make sure that customer is getting at most satisfaction from nutty affair okay okay great great so uh, basically what the thing that you're doing different from others is looking into the quality and also educating people about it so yeah definitely we we are really looking forward to you know make people aware about what they are consuming oh uh, sometimes it like you know people are like na na dabeli to khawa hai but kaju thi cholesterol thai jase so there there are a lot of myths as well you know people don't consume cashews just because they have heard somewhere that it is uh, it has got a lot of cholesterol and stuff we make sure that the customer gets the proper knowledge about it you know it, if consumed in proper quantity at proper time they can get a lot of benefit it's a powerhouse in itself you know so people have the, got those kind of myths as well and none of the other i i won't say that everyone is bad but not everyone is interested in making people aware about it you know uh, people are just making sure that whatever customer is asking they will just deliver the same but we are also wanting to raise awareness about the products you know okay okay that's great that's great okay so uh when we hear nutty affair it's it's really a catchy name so uh, i also want to know how did you guys came up with this name it involved a lot of brainstorming uh, uh the eldest one uh, in our organization mr dimpak bhandari and uh, he is the main person behind this entire thing and uh, we all have been you know putting our combined efforts definitely but uh, when it came when it comes to the name we had to brainstorm a lot but when nutty affair came to our mind it was you know a a a feeling a feeling in itself where you are having a relationship with nuts and uh, where you are having uh, a love for nuts you know so nutty affair just uh, got to all our customers as well so that is how the purpose is getting so uh, nutty affair and we also uh, have our tagline that is hand picked delights so we it involved a lot of brainstorming but we came up with it and it's doing pretty well okay okay great that's beautiful okay so uh, basically we had this interview uh, to know about nutty affairs and also uh, for basically for the youth that wants to go uh, into a field that is not very uh, like uh, the mainstream fields or the academic fields like you have yeah. out of it you guys have thought about it and then you work towards this so on to the youth who wants to do something out of the academic field or out of the uh, think of uh, out of the box and they want to do it so what do you like to pass on to them so uh see we all are young and uh, we are uh, like i told you we are five of us we all are young and all of us have done something or the other in academics i'm an engineer my brother is an engineer plus mba other brother is a ca another brother is a you know again mba 
so we see that everything every word that we uh, learned in our education is getting utilized in uh, one or the other way uh may may it be management may it be technology may it be anything so when it comes to uh, a store like nati affair people just think that it's a mainstream dry fruit store but it is not because it has got a lot of back end work as well we have our back end team who takes care of everything there can be you know a relationship with the customers may it be uh, you know uh software developing may it be website developing so uh it's definitely not the way people think people think that uh, you know uh uh if they go to an it company only then they will be utilizing their knowledge but it's not like that a person uh, who is doing maybe some very basic job can also utilize their entire knowledge in that particular job you know they just need to get involved in that thing and then they can definitely utilize whatever they have learned mm. so i can say proudly that i am utilizing everything that i have learned during my education during my uh, job experience during the exploration uh, of market that i have done in my past years i am utilizing everything in that affair mm. uh, it does upon people you know they just uh, they had just have the stereotype thinking towards pro, you know uh, this kind of projects they think that uh, it's a dry food store they think that it's a restaurant they think that it's a, it's a, you know uh, some basic thing they think that it working in an it company is a hyped thing it has been you know uh, the, that is how it has been portrayed in movies and everywhere where you know people are just uh, going to the offices and working and mm-hmm. people have you know uh, uh they have just uh, shown it that way but it's not like that if at all uh, one uh, i would say that if at all one person is joining their father's business of maybe some basic thing they can def- definitely develop in the way they want it to be you know so they can definitely utilize all their academics in any business they just need to get involved in it okay okay that was really nice and i guess uh, our youth who wants to do something out of the box would have had some help uh, so thank you so much mohit for interacting with us taking up time and um, thank you so much for that it was really nice talking to you shivani and uh, thank you so much for the interview 